I hope aspiring directors gain from this tool, um, uh, use it like a test to see how interested they are really in, in making movies. And this is a bit akin to when I began with 8mm. Uh, the difference is uh, I could go off and write the script from scratch and, and, and make my visual choices from scratch. In this kind of film school in a box, uh, we provide a lot of choices already prefabricated, but then you get to mix and match and create a movie out of all the different parts. And I really don't believe there'll be any single result, any single movie that will, that will be anything like your friend's movie or the person's next door movie or the person you know in, in Germany or Japan's movie because I really feel that everybody uh, is going to put their own signature you know, in, in the way they tell a story. So, so we've given a lot of leeway and so far all the films I've seen when we test market the product, there, no two films have thus far been alike and that's, that's pretty amazing. When I put my film together, I got to tell you, I, I like Patrick's film, our grand prize winner, better than I like my own four stabs at, at making a movie from this. But my ending uh, was the, uh, 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 the, the, the sort of same ending that was used before where they made a mistake and the warden hung up the telephone, the reprise on the uh, electrocution lever. Uh, and I spent a lot of time on the Penn and Teller sequence with Jennifer Aniston. I did a lot of... Uh, you know, fun cuts on that. The thing that I really had the most fun with, with this product was I made a rock video. I took a rock and roll score and I just cut it, it j just took pieces of all the images and put them together in a kind of an MTV type of a uh, uh, presentation. That was fun. hearing about the concept and what it was, you just think, what a, what a great idea, my God, to sort of have this, you know, opportunity for young filmmakers to have an actual, you know, they have footage shot by Steven Spielberg, they have actors to work with, it's, you know, what an ideal situation for a young, and to be able to feel that you're sort of contributing in some way to young filmmakers getting their shot and getting started, it feels pretty good. Well, working with Steven Spielberg is probably, you know, I mean, it's one of those experiences that you, uh, you know, never forget as your first. I mean, I started absolutely petrified driving to this set and it sort of happened so fast and uh, then you break out into a cold sweat and then you're just, you know, wow, well, I'm willing to do my work. I don't know what I'm going to have to do. And then you meet him and he's, you know, one of the most down to earth, kind, humble, generous people that you've ever met and makes it just easy. Well, you know, you never didn't have fun because you're just, like I said, you're thrust into a situation that you just cut off your right arm to be in as an actor, you know, and... Well, in acting in this interactive project, one of the things that I realized as I was, you know, going over the script and getting prepared was, oh my God, I am... I actually have an opportunity that I don't know anybody who who's ever had this opportunity before. While you're acting, you're doing two completely different sides of two completely different movies all at the same time. You know, we do the scene and we do it real and we do it serious and it's played for dramatic effect. Then you do it again in this crazy wild comedy way and you're moving back and forth between the two all during the course of the day as you're shooting the movie. Here, 10-year-old kids are going to learn how to cut on this machine basically to get what they want. All right, and so a whole, possibly a whole generation of movie makers could come out now really versed in editing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
forward, hit this mark over here, and crying, you know, I just, just really like, just really give me some, not, not real, just give me some sobs, sobs, yeah, just watch him go, just watch him go crying all the way, so she's going to walk into a close-up, okay, and then what you want to do, well, yeah, just take a look at it, oh, this is great, Steven. Quinn, show me where you kneel. Now, first, we'll get to see your mom, and then I, I want to take it right to the kneeling where you kneel. Let's see that. Go to the right a bit. Slow, right? Good. 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 And action. Jack! Jack! Cut. Great, great. Print that one. Thank that was you. wonderful. That's good. And then as this is going by, you find him, you go with the gurney. So it's kind of like with the gurney in the foreground. Yeah, and then mom right. watches it, right. and the priest watches it. Right, good. Do that. And then Laura. Excellent, Tim. And she'll follow over with her eyes. And then we should stop on her. A little lower. That's good right there. Thanks, guys. You good? Okay, here we go. Now, making movies is one of the greatest jobs in the world. You've got to have talent and intuition, patience and energy, and the real innate ability to tell a story and a comfortable pair of shoes. Of course, a great crew is also essential, so I've handpicked some of the best people in Hollywood to work with you, and I'll be around to guide you through the process from writing the script to premiering the film, the movie you're about to personally make. If it's not on the page, it's not on the stage. So we got you a couple of positively and really amazing, terrific writers, Ted and Terry, or Terry and Ted, who have their own ideas, so learn early to collaborate, knowing that in the end, it's you who must make the final decision about the story that you want to tell. Action! Uh, actually, <laughs> could you boys show me where the complaint box is? Because I have a big old complaint. Uh, I never got my baked Alaska. Oh. You, know, you know, the whole last mm. meal part of this execution, mm. they said I could get whatever I wanted, mm. you know, uh, and I, I ordered the blowfish and the baked Alaska. And they figured, you know, if you last me, you might as well try the blowfish then. <laughs> we could do it, yeah. right, you know? But I never got the baked Alaska. Jack! Never heard any Jack! It's time. <laughs>